Okay, so yeah, we're recording again here. This one, uh, obviously, the purpose is understanding athlete monitoring for our coaches. Uh, for athlete monitoring, you're going to visit app.athletemonitoring.com. You can put in the slash login, actually doesn't really matter. This will take you to the main login page. Um, for athlete monitoring, there is no option to register yourself. I have to manually register everybody. So there's no option for a staff member or a student athlete to register. Um, so I, I manually register all of our uh, staff and student athletes. Um, so if you uh, have a person that you see is missing or a staff member that you see is missing on athlete monitoring, you just have to reach out to me and I can get them registered and send them their login credentials. Same as Privet, which I forgot to say, you'll, you'll already have your login credentials. For most of you, it will be your U of A email uh, and you can use the forgot password if you're having problems accessing it. Uh, if you can't seem to remember even your login, no problem, you just get a hold of me and I can get that sent off to you. So this should be my demonstration coaches account um, where we also have our Pandas Pickleball team. This is what for almost all of our coaches, I believe we have two exceptions, Almost all of our coaches will have a home landing page that looks like this. Uh, you may have multiple teams. Again, if you have multiple teams that you're the head coach of, um, but this for the most part is what your landing page will look like. A few things at the top, uh, again, with athlete monitoring, there is a messaging feature not commonly used by Varsity Health but it, uh, or any of our staff, but it is there. You have some basic settings as a coach um, that you can control. Uh, Athlete monitoring also has a help desk. They have a news feature. You can get updates from athlete monitoring. And then over here, you can visit your own profile where similar to Privet, you can make some basic changes, update a profile picture. You can um, change your password, things like that. So from this homepage, um, similar to Privet, we're going to, uh, the first thing we're going to see here is a list of all of your student athletes. And the nice thing is this idea mirrors Privet in the whole red, yellow, green thing. So when you are looking at athlete monitoring, again, what you'd hope to see is a whole list of uh, athletes that have the color green behind them. They are safe to participate fully and you don't have a lot to worry about. Obviously we all know that that's not really the reality of uh, athletics or varsity sport. So you are going to see a mixture like you see here. You're going to see some athletes who are red Red indicating they're not really safe to participate at all. Yellow means they're safe to partially participate. Green meaning they're safe to fully participate. Unsurprisingly, there's a huge range between red and green that is, try, that is attempted to be captured by yellow. So we'll look at ways that you can get more information about what the athlete uh, is doing or what, they should, what you should know about them in terms of what they can do at a practice or a game. But that is kind of a snapshot. Over here, you'll see if the athlete is injured. Pretty much anybody who is red or yellow is going to have an injury because that's what creates them or, or that's what sets them as being able to participate partially or not at all. Um, but with green, you can have a, an injury like you can see here and still be green. So you can be injured and participate fully. You might also see individuals who are green and have no injury. And there would be no further information that you would need to know from, a, from an injury standpoint about an athlete that's green and has nothing listed here. So what we'll do from here, uh, sorry, no, before we go into the student athlete, there's a couple of other things that you can uh, access from the main homepage. Comments is not a feature that Varsity Health uses right now. You can disregard that one. Compliance, not a feature that Varsity Health uses right now. Again, you can disregard that one. I'll get into notes in a second. Over here, you can actually set a date or timeline that you want to see the, st the status of a student athlete. So, you know, right now it's June and you would hope that most of your athletes are healthy. Um, but if you're trying to think back to what the state of your student athletes was in, you know, October, maybe in the middle of a football season, for example, you could actually change the date range here and it would give you an idea of, what were my student athletes? What was the health status of all my student athletes in October versus what you can see right now is more of a present state of the student athlete. Uh, so then, as I mentioned, the last thing you'll see here is notes. And we'll get into notes a little bit more, but notes is 
more detailed information about what is happening with a student athlete as it relates to their injury. From the main page, you'll see all student athletes that have notes about them. Uh, so as a season goes on and the injuries start to build up, this is not a very user-friendly place to see notes because you may start to see hundreds, if not thousands of notes about all the student athletes on your team. Right now, I have two student athletes who have a combined four total notes, so it's not very daunting. Um, but as things start to build up, and for any of you who are logged on, it'll show you the number of notes. So, you know, if you, you might have hundreds, like I said, you might have hundreds, if not thousands. So I'll show you a way that you can see notes in a nicer view specific to the student athlete that you're wondering about. So what we obviously want to do next is understand a little more specifically what's happening with a student athlete. So we'll use this sample athlete and this person is injured. One option from the homepage is you can click here and get a little bit more information, not a ton, but you can get a little bit more information in terms of the notes that uh, the student athlete has written about them by anybody who has access to athlete monitoring. If the student athlete has returned partially or fully, you'll see some dates here. If there's, if there's specific restrictions placed on the athlete by a varsity L staff member, you can see those here as well. The next place that we'll go is into the student athlete's profile. So for this, we're gonna click on the student athlete's name. And now you can see that takes you into everything that is specific to the one student athlete. From the top up here, I could click this drop down and from here, select any other student athlete as well. Um, but we'll stick on sample athlete. If I can get rid of that, sorry, there we go. We'll stick on sample athlete here. Uh, this little clock, I guess we'll say, image, whatever that is, um, is kind of the main dashboard for the athlete. And this will give you a snapshot of everything that's going on with that student athlete. Right now for this person, one injury, they have their ACL uh, complete tear on their left knee. So you can see what the injury is here. You can see which side it's on. And again, it's in red because this individual is not participating at all. As you go across the top, almost all of these are features that athlete monitoring has available that we are currently not using. So there's well, and, and some of our teams and coaches have dabbled in this in the past. One or two programs are still kind of using it. So there is the wellness questionnaires, there is the training scheduling option. Um, so there is, there, you know, there's this messaging platform. You can see the athlete's information profile, but for the most part, with some rare exceptions, these are not features that Varsity Health is using. Um, so from the main dashboard page where you can get a little bit of detail about the athlete, the next most important or potentially the most important is what we call these pencil notes things. So this is probably the biggest thing as a coach to pay attention to when you're looking for more detail about what is happening with my student athlete. So this will pull up and you'll, you'll have, you'll, you've seen this from that main page when we uh, were on the main dashboard page, but instead of seeing notes about all of the athletes on your team, this of course is just specific to the one person. From here, you can see everything that's happening. Obviously these are all notes created by me. They're all made up. And so you'll see anything here from what's happening with the injury, a little bit more detail about what the injury is, what kind of appointments does the student athlete have coming up. So this student athlete, you know, is supposed to see the varsity PT weekly for clinical care. Um, you might see things like, you know, they have a, a, an appointment with the orthopedic surgeon scheduled on this date or at this time. So you'll see information about the injury. The other thing you'll often see is what, is what is happening with the injury? What is the person doing? So, you know, here's an example today. The only thing the athlete did today was they put the game ready on for 15 minutes. But as this injury progresses over time, you'll see much more here. You might see examples of the exercises they're supposed to do. You might see things from the student kins that the student kin worked on before practice. What kind of technique was used by the varsity L staff to help this person? Uh, again, as the injury progresses on, you might see things like, here's what the athlete can do in practice today. This would not be a good example of, of an athlete where we're talking about what can be done in practice because they're, they've just injured themselves quite recently. But as the injury progresses on, now you might see things like, okay, this athlete can participate in 30 minutes of practice and it needs to be non-contact and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. You can see those kinds of details. And what's really important about this is this attempts to capture everything between an athlete who's red and is completely out 
and an athlete who is green, who is completely in. Completely out is easy. Completely in is easy. It's everything in between that poses a lot of challenges from a communication standpoint about what should the student athlete do. So here's where we really want our head coaches to live in terms of determining or helping understand what can an athlete do. And so that, that's where we'll kind of build the uh, injury case management, injury profiling for the athlete as time goes on. Uh, a couple other pieces just about this page. As a head coach, you can add notes. Um, so you can click on new or you can click in the green button here and you can type whatever you want. The only thing I kind of ask is student athletes will get more than one injury as they go along. So it's really preferred if you can do something like type in knee first, just so that, you know, if they have a knee injury, you know, we got volleyball players, Lori, they got, I think Lori's on this call. They've got seven injuries at once all the time. So if we can click knee, so I know you're talking about their knee instead of their ankle, for example. Um, and then you can type anything you want in there. Uh, some of the things I've seen coaches type often is questions. What's happening with this athlete? What are they supposed to do today? You're certainly welcome to put that in there things you're seeing out of the student athlete. If you're seeing something and going, well, something's not right here. Why, why is this happening? That's a good place to put it as well. So you can add your own note. Right now, you'll see that all of the notes are medical. So there's really nothing to sort and hide. But again, as the athlete's injury profile gets much longer, there might be all different types of notes. So we can have notes from the coaches. Daily actions is largely what you'll see from student kins. Um, our strength and conditioning coaches, for the most part, have access to this platform, so you might see notes from them. VIM, Reminders Varsity Injury Management Clinics, that's our multidisciplinary clinics with our Varsity L staff and our sport and exercise medicine physicians, so you might see notes that are specific to that. And then, of course, general notes. You can sort that out, so you, know, you could sort out so that you only see notes that were relevant to a VIM. And, of course, right now there's none, so that's not a great example, but... Um, or then you can refresh it and see all different notes. So this, this notes right here is, is really key in trying in varsity health, trying to pass along information about what is happening with the student athlete and what should be happening. As I said, it's everything between green, which is easy and red, which is easy. Um, so that kind of takes us to the end of um, what is what you see on a student athlete's profile and what you see from Athlete Monitor. I'm just uh, checking my notes to make sure I didn't miss anything, which I don't think I did. Um, so that, I guess, really kind of takes us to the end of Athlete Monitoring as well, um, largely being our injury reporting tool and our um, communication tool. One drawback of Athlete Monitoring for coaches, it doesn't allow you to report an injury. It's a feature I'd like to see. Um, because if you are training with an athlete in the summer and they get injured and you're the one who's around, it would be awesome to see our coaches be able to report it. Not an option right now, but certainly something I hope athlete monitoring builds in. Um, but yeah, that kind of takes us to the end of athlete monitoring. So I will again, stop the recording.